Hi there, this is Al from TheGamingGeek.net and today we've got something uh, a little different. Uh, we're still doing uh, a video on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus but we're going to take a look back at uh, PlayStation 1 games, right? This is Silent Hill, the original one and you know what, I'll just skip this, alright. Because uh, the reason why I wanted to uh, try this out, uh, I actually am playing this game right now, and it's it's gotten my attention, and uh, it just looks so good on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus. I tried this out on the Retroid Pocket 3 a few months ago. Uh, I've forgotten what I used back then, but I don't think I was able to get it to a 3x resolution so since I'm already playing this game I wanted to showcase it again on my channel um, I also have to replay a section uh, because I messed it up so might as well replay it while we're uh, shooting a video right so I'm just adjusting lighting here and I'm gonna show you a comparison of uh, how this looks when you don't put upscaling or enhancements, right? We're gonna start it here first at the beginning. Adjusting the... So this is how it uh, looks uh, without enhancements. Look at that, it's a little bit pixelated. Can you see? See how? All right. So look at this, right? We're gonna take a look at uh, our character. Wait, can we take a look at our character? There. So it's pixelated. Not very good graphics, right? Okay, so we'll skip this. Cheryl. Is that Cheryl? Right. And um, normally, I save the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus for higher-end uh, consoles. Right? And I play PlayStation games. Hey, wait. Stop. 16-bit uh, games, 8-bit games, and other less powerful hardware. But after I try this out, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm using Duck Station, by the way. Uh, it looks kind of like Ether SX2. Uh, in Duck Station, under Enhancements, you can first change the resolution scale. So now we're going to do 3x resolution, which gives uh, 720p. And then you're going to enable something called PXGP, PGXP ge Geometry uh, Correction. When you turn that on, there are a few things that uh, turn on. So I haven't really played uh, much with this. But, uh, when you turn it on, it turns two other options on, culling correction and texture correction. So take a look at what happens when we do that. Now look at this, the graphics are much sharper, right? Although polygons, if they're bad looking already, they're going to stay bad looking, right? But I think this is a vast improvement, right? And so, I've been, uh, let me just adjust the lighting. I've been playing this game using this device and you know it makes some PlayStation games that are kind of hard to, hard to look at nowadays uh, given our standards and it makes it a little bit more tolerable right there so um, ooh, you know what let's go right ahead I'm going to pick up where I left the game off. Uh, we're going to reset this in 3, 2. Alright, so we're back. And this is uh, the hospital level. And right now, I turned uh, the graphics back to uh, defaults. So we're at 1x resolution. And uh, we had that PGXP options uh, disabled. Look at how much different it is, right? 
So we're going to turn that back on. And let me just adjust the lighting here so you guys can see. Yeah, here, under enhancements, 3x resolution, and where was that? This one, P GXP geometry, geometry Collection. Man, I'm having trouble pronouncing that, but here you go. Let me just adjust the lighting, and we're going to play from this point on. So I already have the map. I've already done some exploration. Oh, I guess this is the... I should adjust the lighting based on the map. Right? Oops. Where are we supposed to go again? Yeah. So we are... Man, does that mean that every time I go to the... Yeah, it's going to be a little... You know what? You guys can ignore the map. I think it's better that you see the actual game. So... We're going to play this for quite a bit. I've already gone through this... Uh, this section and I missed something very important that would uh, get me the good ending. So I'm replaying it. Yeah, it's, it's hard to compensate for um, lighting changes, but anyway. Alright, is this... Ah, alright. Let me just say that after I played the this stage, the hospital uh, level, man, I, I had a, a different appreciation of uh, this game, right? People say that uh, Resident Evil and the, uh, Silent Hill are neck and neck. But I, I would uh, say that Silent Hill is a lot more scarier. Yeah. I've played a lot of survival horror games and this still managed to creep me out. So I hope we, we can get to that part. Alright, what's next? Is the kitchen. Alright, get some important stuff here. And we will get something important here too. Guess what I missed. So. Uh, if you haven't played Silent Hill before, well, this is a big hint. Alright, now what we have is the unknown liquid. That's going to be important if you want to get the good ending. Sorry, spoilers, but this is a really old game. I hope you guys don't mind. Did I explore everything already? That, that, that. All right. Oh, shoot. Man, already starting to creep me out. All right, so. Uh, let's use the knife. What's in here anyway? 
Oh crap. Oh man. I made a mistake. You know what else? Turn it on. I can't believe bugs are getting the best of me. Alright. Well, how much better the graphics are, right? Maybe let's tone down the lighting a little bit so that it's going to adjust. So where should we go? Uh, let's just check everything. Alright, good thing we can't open. Everything's uh, locked except this one. Just press the switch. Oh man, just like the sound effects. Freaking. We'll go to the second floor. By the way, did you guys see what floors are available? Alright, so we're in the second floor. Locks jam. So if. if um, because we can't get to the second floor from the first floor because the, the doors are locked here. And the only way to go get there is the elevator, right? Uh, but on the second floor, the, the door's locked there, so we have no choice. We have to uh, go visit something else. Now we'll go to the third floor. Alright, it's also locked, so can't go anywhere, right? Uh, since we have no choice, I'm gonna equip my knife. Look at that. Floor number four. Alright. I'm sure if you've played Silent Hill you've already you already know this. By the way, I don't understand that scene. It was uh, some girl walking into a boutique. I don't remember any boutiques here. Man, look at this. I don't have the map for this place. Ah, uh, so unsettling when when uh, the game you know plays some sounds that aren't supposed to play. Where am I supposed to go? Alright, so now we have our light. There, see? When, when those things uh, play over us. Uh, so, Alright, so we're gonna 
go to the third floor. Man, and the music's so tense, right? Oh, look at that. All right. Yeah, I learned that trick from fighting so many of these. Oh, I did that. Uh... I think there's one more. No? Alright, now where are we? Alright. Oh, she got me cornered. Check her. He's breathing hard. Yep, almost dead. So let's get a help drink. Ah, uh, one more. Alright, we have a health drink there, so at least we recuperated one. The steel plate is screwed to the wall. I'm glad that we were able to get this far. At least I was able to show the creepy side of this hospital. Now, um, this is as far as I've gotten, the hospital. I mean, I beat the, the section, but I'm replaying it because I missed getting that uh, unknown uh, liquid, right? So I'm gonna replay this section again I don't know if it uh, the scares ramp up from here and by how much but what I can say is uh, this game didn't um, feel this scary until I got to this point right this is really where I got started to get unnerved I thought it was pretty light now oh, weird I wonder what the these are for we're gonna check oh look at that it's gonna be important later on <laughs> man like, when those uh, sound effects happen right it really can be unnerving. All right. What's in here? All right, let's see. Nothing, nothing's in there. That's the answer. Oh, it's just like that. Okay. Oh, I think we have a... Uh... Alright, let's see. There's this technique that I... Learned. Alright.
Yeah, that's why I switched to the knife because I felt that it was a uh, faster than the crowbar. Okay, so what else do we have here? Storage room. All right. You know it's safe if you're... Well, I think uh, Silent Hill veterans already know that, but in case you don't, uh, you know the room's safe if... your radio doesn't go off blood pack that's going to be important later on and i don't actually need those handgun bullets wait a second there's another room here yeah Oh, jam. Okay. Yep, see? What do we have here? Probably some more items. Oh, it's this. Ah. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be important later on. Make sure you gather that. Alright, <laughs> turn the light off. What else can we explore here? Room 307. Alright, let's go ahead and uh actually let's try to unlock this. There. Okay. Now let's go to the second floor. No uh, blaring alarm, so we're good. We need to explore this area first though. All right, alarm. can't see you there all right safe now okay so let's go to the far do I hear an alarm I do it's not safe there must be another nurse here Right. Sneak up on it. Still alive? It's no longer... Yeah, it's dead. Alright, so... Yeah, alarms, which means there's someone here. Oh, look at that. Tentacles, all right. So I already figured this out, which is why we're going to do this. Nope, not that one, not that one, sorry. Alright, that gives us uh, the freedom to get that. Alright, always turn your uh, light whenever you're uh, entering or exiting a room.
room 201. not even fighting. Alright. There you go. Oh, we have another tile here. Oh, it's a lighter. Alright. Let's keep going a little bit. I think we can t take a look at the boys room and the girls room nope how about the nurse's office oh that okay so says here uh there's a poem all right i think clouds Oh, we only have three, so that's not nearly enough. I think this is good enough. Uh, so yeah, uh, Silent Hill, look at that. Look at how good this game looks uh, when you have it upscaled uh, to 3x resolution. And I think uh, people are sleeping on taking a look, uh, playing, uh, revisiting. PlayStation 1 games on the Retroid Pocket 3 Plus um, but it uh, because of the upscaling and all those enhancements I think this is a good uh, this is a good reason to revisit all these uh, classic games right that's what I'm gonna be doing so I'm really having fun with uh, the first Silent Hill it is so good uh, I think there's a, no, I think there's a, an enemy here. I actually, again, I, pre I think I'm, I prefer this to the first Resident Evil. Oh, look at that. Let's end this uh, episode by fighting this guy. The jumps, the the scares of this game is really more on the atmosphere and uh, less on the jump scares. It's really uh, freaking me out. All right, so hope you enjoyed this episode. If it, even if this isn't uh, the usual uh, PlayStation Two test, let me know if you're interested in seeing these PlayStation One games and see if you want to see how they look. Uh, with these enhancements just uh, give me some titles uh, and I'll add them to the list for now we'll leave it here once again this is Al from gaminggeek.net talk to you in the next video